Hello everybody, welcome to the CCO Season 53 quarterfinal match. First quarterfinal between Sambo Simon and his amazing high elf team. Versus of all teams, it had to be Norse, didn't it? The high elf team called Rollerdorfs, full of players called Jimmy Fantastic, is up against filthy Norses. Um, absolute tragedy. It's actually a pretty tough matchup for the high elves. They, they do have 13 players. Um, the Norse won the toss, chose to receive, have a wizard, a bribe, and a babe. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty tricky, right? The frenzy, they get plenty of tackle, they, you know, they've got nothing else to give linemen, so they've got three tackles here. At a glance. Like, this is the niche of, this is the thing that Norse are actually good at, right, is beating up elves. They still don't win that much against elves, because elves are still elves. But, um, yeah, they've got a tackle palmer and three extra tackles. So they do end up with loads of tackles. And obviously the frenzy, so they get a really good chance of knockdowns. So they do end up, as far as their matchups, as far as matchups versus elves go, um, it's definitely one of the best. He's taken pass block on this lineman. Um, I assume he, that was a random. Uh, <laughs> But all three, and it's just taking a random there. <laughs> what the hell? He's literally taken pass block. Completely bamboozled. And there's a Kaz. Jimmy Fantastic, Kaz by Norse. Tragedy. This is tough. I, it's a pretty nice. Uh, we've got strength up. So we've got strength up. Ulf, tackle Palmer, a bunch of tackle. Another strength up. Berserker, and jump. It's a pretty nice uh, Norse team as far as Norse teams go. On his Yeti was missed next game, I think. So that helped him get the wizard and stuff, and obviously not have it like a Yeti's pretty useless versus elves. So that ended up really nice for him actually. Is he gonna foul back here? Or just trying to control this guy. I don't know. Hmm. Gets everyone up, so obviously first turn one cars isn't the best, but what can you do? The sidesteppers county the f county counter the frenzy a bit at least, but I guess it's he's going for the three D from the. Uh, oh no, he can't be. He can't be going for the three D, but then. This is still like a two into one, right? By having those two there. Did he think didn't did he not realise it had sidestep? And he did by the time he blitzed it. Yes, exactly, exactly. Like what could be it, you know, if this is the if this is the end of the roller dwarfs, uh, you know, against against Norse. Norse being the team to put out the uh Jimmy Fantastics team is uh, pretty poetic. But um we shall see. I mean, the elves aren't terrible, right? They've got a couple of strength ups. They've got a guard, a couple of guards. They've got a match five. They sure they might have used up all of their luck in the in the previous round versus the uh, chaffs. Oh, going for a bit of contact. Bit of ball contact. It's a 1D blitz. Did he even know that was a 1D? That seems pretty, pretty rowdy. And then another 1D. That's not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? Give me a couple million hits to achieve that. That's not what I would have done. There you go. I don't know why he didn't follow. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if he just followed, right? If he follows there, that hit doesn't get made. And then if he doesn't bring all these in, all these hits aren't getting made as well. I think the contact turn 
is only good if you're getting you know like if you're getting something out of it right he didn't really get anything out of it here this was all this content all this contact was to make two one d's and the north just clear it and it's fine they're not under pressure which is not good I mean, could have just moved them first, right? There's absolutely no reason to be lax on the positioning before the foul there. Wrestle. The wrestle was actually really bad, wasn't it? And a push, he would have, uh, he would have chained out the ball, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. There was a chance. There was a chance to chain out the ball there, but I guess it was, wasn't even that. Because of this guy, he couldn't even got around to hit him anyway. Le Double Skulls. Yeah, I think he's got himself into a bit of trouble here trying to fight this <laughs> this strength five wolf. Oh god, another cast. He's taken two cars from trying to fight this wolf essentially. Oh. Hello, big Chi Chi, finally. Yep. <laughs> Oh, Jimmy, fantastic. Diced again. So there is a side step to here. What he could do is he could try and bliss this one first, but he's now just going to hope for a power or a both of them. That's it. Not getting any forward progression, really. So, like, I guess, you know, fighting the... Uh, Ulf has had some benefits, but still, there's no pressure from the elves, which is really what you'd want to be generating with contact. Otherwise, you're just getting banged out for no gain. Not even a chance of gain. Like, he's getting in the way, <laughs> but only by getting his players killed. There's the bribe. Doesn't work. Wow. A gym foul against the Jimmy Fantastic team. Unbelievable. That's true, yeah. That is true, to be fair. Steve is correct. <laughs> no, um, getting two players killed is not great. Nope. Oh, and double one the first action. Oh, no, it was a three plus sleep. Wait, what? What? Oh, it was this one. It was this one that did it. No. Yeah. Yeah, it was this one that failed. Okay, so this one's a three plus leap. So Strength Force who's coming in to do something. Okay, I was completely bamboozled there. They're all called Jimmy Fantastic, which doesn't make it easy, does it? Uh, so we start off with a 1 in 9. Well, that's not as unlucky, is it? So he, he did apple this one that died in there successfully. Yeah, I got, I got there in the end. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so well, starting the turn with a 1 in 9 move is... I mean, it's alright. 8 times out of 9, isn't it? But uh, the one time it isn't, it's pretty bad. Gloriously. Yeah, now it's, you know, last turn you might not have thought it was going well for the elves, but uh, now it's very much going badly. Slide down is an option here, honestly. 
Like, it's already turn like seven for the Norse. You're not realistically going to, you know, stop them at all here. They've lost the DP, they've lost the bribe. Stay down. Stay down, man! Maybe he's trying to protect this one as much as he can. Strength four. But it's just sneaky protecting him. Right? This isn't even protecting him. I really want to play CCL, honestly, in the final season. It's just that playing Blood Bowl can be pretty annoying. <laughs> oh, finally, no sidestep. I want to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. Is he just going to 1D blitz or is he going to hit somebody else? He's going to hit the edge, the defenseless edge. It, what, re-rolled it? It was literally a, it was literally a board down, he re-rolled it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the elves did play this perfectly, but the um, they they didn't get good dice, did they? But uh, I don't know. I didn't I didn't like the the fighting the elf. That that was the main thing. Maybe that the the leap first action was all right for like how bad things are already done. But I feel like uh, putting all those guys in to fight the. Uh, Oh, was a great move. Like your elves, you know, you can just run away from them. If you've got a, if you've got a chaos team, then uh, by all means, base up and claw upon the uh, strength five wolf. But the elves basing up to not ball pressure was incorrect. I think you know they they played in the Norse hands of. Just wanting to scrap, at least, at least make it about the ball, so you know they they can't just pawn you. You know they can't just hit your most valuable players with tackle pawn as much as they can. Try and make them blitz with somebody who isn't that good. Try and clear the ball, etc. But got a one turn chance. I don't know with who. This, this guard one, I guess, is the one turn. Not a very good one turn attempt. Ten players, movement eight. Yeah, not easy. Not easy at all. There's probably a good good time to do the chunter one right it seems that's what people call it now blitz this guy in and then use the hole so you can pal him and then hit the next guy thing to do Not good. Trying to get the move seven in, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, it's going to work, isn't it? This is uh, well done. He's got the four pushes.
Maybe you should have got the ball to him earlier. Pass block! Oh, he caught it anyway. And he leaps over. And he makes the dodge. And he gets in. <laughs> Fucking pass block. <laughs> so he definitely should have delivered the ball earlier. Wow. Amazing. Amazing pass block. Nearly being crucial. Who would have believed? Who would have believed that the pass block had a chance of being crucial? But yeah, really nice one turn to be fair. Really nice. <laughs> Amazing play by Jimmy Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty good, so now he's just got a Daka for the win. Still has 11 players. Ah, oh, but there is the Wizard. Daka. The temptation is to hit, obviously, because they're Norse and they're armor seven and that. But they can output so much damage and have so much tackle. I think the play is definitely to Daka here. Also, if there was a kickoff, like a blitz kickoff, or whatever. But this way he gets to hit the strength five that he really wants to do in the first half. <laughs> it did, yeah, we would have fell and if he'd had tackle instead, <laughs> it would have been a tackle through dodge, uh, like a dodge through tackle, but you know, for some reason he took pass block. But hey, at least at least he got to use the pass block. Yeah, like blitzing a guard with mighty blow does feel pretty good. I just think you have to dack it here. But there you go, look. Glorious payoff. Glorious payoff for the mighty blow greed. I would have dacked. Oh, oh. He's got the ball. Ball of this guy with the edge five to pick up after the bolt. Yeah, I wondered if he was going to go for this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's double GFI with all the time, so it seems a bit terrible. But I guess you can just base him. It's not, not the end of the world to just base him. Two and one. Kills Jimmy Fantastic. What a tragedy. Yeah, now all of like all of a sudden lots of elves are based. Um, and things are looking pretty shit for the elves. To re roll a 2db. Ugh. A blockless block. And roll the one. And get stunned. And now getting four players blocked. And the player blitzed. This is a good advert for the Daka right now. <laughs> Literally none of these hits would have been made. There's always been two hits. There's been two hits and two removals. And there's another four hits to come this turn. Nope, 
so. He wants. No. Can't do it. I guess to hit the uh, mighty blow guy, that's pretty nice. Really nice. Pom the mighty blower. Removal. So yeah, that's three players down in two turns. Could have dacked. <laughs> And this is the thing, right? Like, you know, obviously the Dakar isn't so good against a wizard, but neither's a normal offense. So. And now, he, you know, if he Dakar, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have been hit. <laughs> Never mind, have had three players removed. So. Yeah, this is horrible, right? Two stuns as well. Right, Mordred. <laughs> I think he probably got scared because of like the tackle and the wizard, but um, and the frenzy. But I think you have to Dakar still. I think you have to. They're just too dangerous. I think just like I mean they've done it, and obviously they didn't have to do this, but like this is what Norse are good at, right? You're playing in their strength. Like yes, you're playing in their weaknesses by going after their armor seven with like four hits on the last and that. Your elves, if you've got some players left, you'll just win. Now he's learned his lesson and realised this guy doesn't have block. And then you're just playing for overtime, you know, you over the field, that's the problem. I guess it counters the wizard a bit. Gone for the two or three turn, but it just seems pretty defeatist, right? Because it's hard to win after all the time because they're going to do more damage. I mean, yeah, okay, you might get to turn them over, but it's so dicey, right? It's such an unreliable path to victory unless, unless your opponent's terrible. Ooh. I think getting another guy back was way better. It's just just, just the two plus, right? It gets more stuff back. Like you have, you're pretty thin here, especially with the wizard. So well, yeah, it's nice to get people through. It is one one. So if you can turtle to overtime at this point, is not so bad, right? Because you're in trouble already. Um, so I think coming back and reinforcing over here was better. Four turns left for Sandor Simon. He's got to. He's got to do something. Hello, Sea Browse. Got to be a pile on into another removal. I mean, they've been pretty lucky here, the Norse. Pretty flippin' lucky. <laughs> now what does he do? Ooh, I thought I might just blitz this guy, right? And just go straight up the middle. But yeah, this is pretty decent, I guess. Get these two into play. And he can still try a 3-2 and he can take this off. So yeah, this is... This is pretty... Probably correct. I wonder if he should have passed it with this guy. He's really deep right now. Maybe he should have, like... Uh, had the blood stepper up here and then passed it no, here, passed it to him. Where's the pass blocker? Pass blocker's here. So yeah, he could have had... He could have moved this guy first, right, and passed it to him. I think that might have been an idea, just to try and get it further up the pitch already. I 
doing this way, it's relatively safe unless he goes for a 1B. Oh, it's strength 4. Okay. Oh, he rolls a 1 on the board! It's, a, it's a G, just a G if I'd hit it, which is pretty awful. Whereas if he passed it to this guy, and then dodged this guy out, then it's uh, pretty well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It'd be a dodge and a double G if I. I mean, you've got to, you've got to hit this guy. You just got to. Yeah. Oh, got to re-roll. Oh, he's going to go there for the extra hit here. Beautiful, beautiful cause. Doesn't have a guard though. It was basically free dance the ball, but got away with it. Gloriously got away with it. And got pushed forward to squares nearer the end zone anyway, which is so, uh, you know, without having to pass it. Perfect. I don't know where the oof was at the start of the turn. Yeah, maybe. Oof. No. Right, but now. Block him. Wrestle him down. Lovely. Just give it to the strength four. I guess he hands off to the strength four here. No. Okay. Do you dodge in for the surf? Super interesting question. I'm just gonna surf this guy. No. Not sure about. <laughs> Not sure about that. I feel like if he'd handed off to the strength four and then got some guys in front, it'd have been probably enough. Like, it, it was obviously suck a bit, like, you know, post reroll having to do the dodges and everything, but I just feel like he had to, because I just think this is going to work. Just go. Blitz to make the handoff E. Two plus. No. Oh wow. And for a one in nine dodge. Well, rip. I mean, it was fair enough, right? It was getting pretty hairy here. Um, so I guess you know you have to make these moves. I just think he had to take bigger risks last turn. I really think he had to uh, give it the catcher last turn and cage around the catcher. No, Jimmy Fantastic, no. I guess the question now is where does the throwing go and do the Norse have a chance to win in normal time? Oh, they might. <laughs> It's a scoring threat, okay. Uh, I don't know, could just block him, right? I, I prefer blitzing this guy and then just going for the pickup with this fella. Not really. Is he edge two? Why not just pick it up with him? That's weird, isn't it? So yeah, I did not like that turn from Vlad GR. 
I much prefer blitzing this fellow and then picking up my strength four. But hey, there's no else left on the pitch. <laughs> he uses a reroll here. To try and not lose in normal time. The last reroll. I might have uh, I might have not re-rolled that and kept the re-roll for overtime. You know, if I get there, I just hope that he fails things. Obviously, this does make it a lot harder for him. <laughs> Dice it. Up fantastically using the last reroll to pick it up. <laughs> the thing is, if you, if you fail the if you fail the punt, you're fucked, right? But then it's what are the chances of dropping it versus the chance of him powering you with all of these dice. But then if he does power you, the ball could have gone to somebody activate and stuff, so it's not that easy. You'd have to work out the entire chain of. And plus, that even if you punt, they can probably still get it anyway, right? Especially depending on what it costs. Oh wow, horrendous kick off. Uh, KO rolls. And. Yep, there we go, We're down to seven elves. It's asking a lot. Yeah, it's interesting. Like it's it's funny because I I do really tend to value keeping the ball on a player, and you like you'll see Rick, you'll see me dismiss, not even contemplate a punt, and you'll see uh, Rick, you know, always contemplate a punt, and obviously it's right to always contemplate it because. You know, there are times when it is correct to punt. And if you don't think about it enough, you will miss a, miss some correct opportunities to punt. But I don't know, I feel like it's it's very, it's usually you know, very rare that punting is correct. Very rare that punting is correct, I would say. Obviously it depends on, on a lot of factors, but... It's a bit of a tragedy for the elves, but you know, to be, to be completely wow, last reroll gone. To be completely um, objective, they had a lot of luck in the previous rounds. So you know, despite having the best team name and all the best player names, um, you know, it's kind of all right. oh, he got an extra reroll off the kickoff, so it wasn't his last reroll. That makes it. I think it was still sloppy though, right? I think it was still sloppy to. Um, could have moved it all the and stuff and just made this simple. Or whatever, I don't know. Could have maybe like covered just more and not have to do all that. But I guess with two reels, you can use one on turn one. Because it's like momentum as well, isn't it? Oh, wow. Man, you really needed more games in this team here. One more SPP and this catcher's got block or wrestle and then wouldn't have failed, like wouldn't have been knocked out, wouldn't have used a reroll and wouldn't have been knocked down in a crucial situation. So. But now this is uh, pretty much over now, isn't it? Four outs. Might see a pitch clear. He definitely got the gym versus Norse curse, didn't he? Yep. Yep, this is the literal worst team for the. 
<laughs> this is the literal worst team to roll into when all of your players are named Jimmy Fantastic. Flippin' Norse. I know, right, Seabros? What a legend. What a legend. All these dead and injured. <laughs> Takes the board down again to prove that he, uh, just to prove that he knows it's, it's blockless now. <laughs> no, it's over. It's not over, right? It's not over. Um, there's the odd thing, isn't it? It's the odd. The odd chances, but it's so low. Minuscule odds. But technically not over. I mean, it's possible anyone could, right? You just roll some, but, you know, the elves roll some dice. Or maybe not, because they're completely out of range from this turn. Yes, they are completely out of range this turn. Okay, now, now it's over. Now it's over, because they're completely out of range. And then he's in range. And it's, it's over. It's over. See, it's over. Could just go sideline, right? Completely out of range. And get based at the moment. It's actually over now, yeah. Actually, fully over. Completely over. It's actually not because he, he didn't move here. If he moves here, it's completely over. But the fact that he's moved there means there's a chance that he double ones the armor roll. Right? It doesn't break AV. And this guy goes three, leaps four, five, dodges six, GFIs, GFIs, one Ds him, bases the ball, and then he quad scores when he hits him, and uh, and then doesn't score, you know, whatever. So there was, there was, you know, there was, there was an unbelievably tiny chance, um, you know, like one in a million, whatever, but. But whatever it was, there was a chance when he could have just been one square at the left and there would have been zero chance. 24 AV breaks to three is the Dimmy coefficient. <laughs> um, unsurprising, unsurprising result given the AV breaks. And yeah, you know, it's play, played quite well, Vlad, you know. Um, played quite well and Sam Blossom played quite well as well. Um, a few things I've done differently, but is what it is. So congrats to Vlad. Commiserations. Simon, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.